Yeah, I'm I'm a, I'm gonna keep it so real, and I and I love that you um corrected me because it's rightfully so. Y- y- y'all wasn't just the biggest in the Midwest, um, coming out of the Midwest, and you corrected me on a couple of things that I want to touch on. You know, I I forget, and this is Sean. I forget to give groups like um, Bone Thug and Harmony their just due. You you almost forget how, just how dope and 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 how many records and how impactful that group was on hip hop and and it is greater than hip hop culture just 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 mainstream culture as a whole and then when y'all touch down you right as you was talking I'm trying to think who who was bigger than Nelly the lunatics from what would you say? Oh one, oh three, somewhere for for them three years in there. I, I don't know that it was a group bigger. You know, <laughs> even even when that first album dropped, I don't know one person, one hip hop artist. Well, Fifty Cent did it. Came it out was, and saw the diamond out. Me, Fifty Cent was all three with me. We was already three years killing it. That's what. That's what I'm saying. Like we was in there, and the people that was hanging in there, that was like it was. I watched everybody who went. From here to there, the people that was hanging, it was M, Pimp, Juice, and J. That's what it was. It was Jay-Z, Eminem, and Nelly. And then, group-wise, it was Lunatics, Locks, um, Dipset was popping, Hot yeah. Boys. You feel what I'm saying? Like, all these groups were legendary right in this little minute of three, four years. Like, before everybody broke up, you know what I'm saying? Like right before the breakups, all them boys was on fire, fire. And when nothing, everybody wanted to be ticks. You saw the videos. We ain't can't play. I'm, I'm tired of playing with it. You saw the videos. You know what it is. Everybody looked like uh, we used to go to the red carpets and the whole red carpet looked like ticks when you said and done. We just so happened to stand out even more because we start making our own clothes. We start, instead of you wearing your New York Knicks jersey, how everybody wearing jerseys and throwbacks and stuff like that, we yeah. just literally, we just literally start, we literally start making our own. That must start saying knowledge, wisdom, understanding, five percenters. It starts saying, you know what I'm saying? I start naming my high school, Matthew Dick. I start naming boys clubs in St. Louis. I start saying, you city on her, on my jersey, custom jersey with my name on it, my name on the back. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I ain't wearing nobody Unless you had the same last name as me or a name like Lee or Murphy, that's when I wore your jersey. Other than that, we had custom. We had custom Gucci jerseys. Bro, we was doing, man, wasn't nobody doing what we was doing. We we did that. We started that. And then she told my fabulous was wearing jerseys. <laughs> she said, I'm like, what? What do you think, Fab? I'm telling you, we was there, bro. We started this. Fab came after us. Everybody came after us. Like, stop playing out here. We was the one. And we started in Champs. We started cutting off, like I'm doing right now. We started cutting off sleeves and things of that nature at the beginning. We weren't even wearing no expensive clothes. Then we went into the boom, boom on y'all. Man, stop playing with the big clothes, making it like, man, stop, stop. We, we're the reason. We're sorry. We apologize to all the fat people and bigger people in the world who we was wearing your four X's and your, we sorry. <laughs> we, we, we know that stuff was sold out because our dumb ass done started this trend. And the whole world got on these big old t-shirts and jeans. <laughs> and I ain't saying, and to be honest with you, most of our swag we got from New York. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not gonna take that from nobody. Like we was around certain people who was fashioned up and we knew what to do. You know what I'm saying? Somebody moved to the loop, RP Trail. Trail is the one who got us our deal. He the one who passed us to Cool to Love. You know what I'm saying? Passed our CD in a part in Jermaine Dupri party, got it to Mason Cuda in order for us to even get a deal shout out to him he literally had a store in st louis and he used to grab the clothes from from 125th street <laughs> and bring them back to the loo and sell them in the loo because that's what we was looking like that's what we got out. we got our stuff from harlem everything from beyond them so i can't i don't and that's from just 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 dressing y'all had the nba store you know what i'm saying so that's how we knew oh. about the jerseys but nobody nobody couldn't afford that y'all couldn't afford that stuff nobody could go in the nba store and just buy that stuff like that so i promise you we took it to another level that was us and it's just i don't and i don't want to take props for other people's clothes so i don't like that i don't like bragging saying we did we just, i don't like the soldier boy syndrome of that but 
we get put out of stuff so much that I have to remind folks like, no, that wasn't a everybody look. Like, don't say that. Don't say everybody was doing it. That was a tick look and everybody was doing it. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> I promise you, it's okay to say it was a tick thing. Yeah, them ticks, them boys was bright. And yeah, we did start wearing colors after that. I came front. You know what I'm saying? Like, stop. Because y'all drove, y'all drove Mason Puff for the shiny suits and the colors and stuff. So they stopped no wearing question. them. So what you see rocking fell in? Jeans and a t-shirt, flat out for a whole three or four years, flat, black and white. Do rag with the black and white, black under the thing. That's all he wore. That's all what 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 cash money wore. Reads and tees. That's all they can do. That was reading tea. Then what you see everything after franchise boys, all this stuff. Everybody was in white tees and drug dealer clothes to not be what's called. Who had on the clothes? It was the ticks. Who had on the clothes afterwards? The whole industry, the whole, all the actors, porn stars, everybody started look trying to look like us, bruh. Like stop playing like the two chains, the not two chains, the rapper, but to put on two chains and boom, one bigger than longer. That's all any swag from oh, from 99 to 2005 was tickish. <laughs> Even if you created it on your own afterwards. If you look at everybody line who came out, rock, rock aware, uh, puff jumps, look at it. It all tried to mock vocab. Everything they couldn't help it. It was the same people making the clothes as Kanye. The same people make it behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? So when they repeating that, you repeating our stuff. You repeating our brands. You doing all that. Of course, it's gonna look like y'all trended something. It, it but you wasn't. I don't know how we got here. Sorry. I, no, I'm glad we did. But I'm, I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna tell you something. You, you, nigga, talk that talk. Like, like I'm sitting over here, like, yo. You know, because me and you had a whole conversation earlier about choosing your words wisely and and no, own it. And and, and I'm happy that you're saying what you're saying because it's so real. Because even as you're talking, I'm going through my head. Now, I'm from NY and I know a lot of what we was doing, we was doing. I can't, like, like oversized clothes, this, that, and the third. That's y'all. That's us. But yeah, I didn't get word the world. That that's the difference. Buster Rhymes had dreads. Uh Foo Snickers, all type. I can name a million rappers had dreads. Yes, but you, you who made go to the pros. You who made people in Alabama get them? Who made people in in um Chicago get them? I ain't never wore no dreads. These things was considered dirty, dusty, Jamaican. They didn't want to wear this. You understand what I'm saying? Like we, this is now look at everything. You can't even find nobody without it. You know what I'm saying? You either got this or a ball head. And that's what it is. I'm 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 done with it. I'll be like, I'll just say, i like, yeah, some people, you can start something. But what trends it? Where the trend setting part of it come in? Because I know I got some of my swag from New York. New York is the swag. What else we see? When I turn on my TV, what do we see? And why? New York. What do you, on movies, anything, We everything was New York. So when we got to New York, when I look in them stores, oh, I know what to do. This is how it's supposed to be. This is where it said the world don't even know this is going on over here. They don't know about 125th Street like that. You know what I'm saying? And we can know about it, but we're not going to mock it. You feel what I'm saying? We're not going to even use it. We're not going to even wear it. They not wearing it. They weren't wearing no big jeans. They looked at us crazy to wear Timberlands in the summertime in St. Louis. Like, what do you got on? And not That's look. That's an NY thing. Yeah, them tips, them tips. Tips. I've been wearing them since What's I was up, guys? Before. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.